Bismillahi up Alhamdulillah, you have the right to marry no matter how few parents you want in your family. Each parent gets one regularly scheduled night or time or turn alone with each other parent. And all the parents have the duty to know and do certain things. Some things are not a choice, like conjugal rights. If you're not ready for marriage yet, you still have the right to at least two groups of intimacy coaches or intimacy therapists on your team. Because every part of your mind and your body is equally worthy of being loved and cared for. As long as we keep our minds and our bodies clean and healthy and open to your ultimate principles and realities. Hi, eternal life, liberty, and the pursuit of peaceful happenings. Here's Hillary with Walmart strategy. And they've got a huge inventory with a cart and a pink shirt. Cross-reference China consumer portion of their economy is 35% compared to most economies is 70% consumer purchases. They're saving their way. We use credit and got burned. They're simply saving the money and then shortchanging the savers with an artificially enforced consumer savings rate and then loaning the money out to the state subsidized companies. who are making a real estate bubble that causes the savings to be worth less and less of the poor Chinese. We use credit and got burned. It used to be 25% of your income for savings, 25% for food, 25% for shelter, and one quarter for clothing. Here he comes. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Hell is low, that's English humor. And hi is the Arabic word for come to prayer. <sighs> yeah, this is where the Clintons talk. This is the, this is the same place, yeah. There was stairs down, right? Or was that a different gym? How you doing? What's happening? Nothing right now. Notice how I got two questions in one breath, John Kennedy style. <laughs> That's how the Kennedys do it. They taught me that. Yeah. How you doing? What's happening is what Jack used to say before he stepped out. So it works pretty good. I'm okay. You're okay, man. How are you? So are there any tickets available? They'll know downstairs. They'll know downstairs. Okay. Anything else you or I might need to know? Olympic thinkers. Olympic thinkers like Olympic athletes. We pass drug tests. The New Yorker magazine said that Olympic athletes threshold for acceptable drug use was so high competitors almost had to use the drugs to keep up with the other guys that cut back right before the test. Not in my sport. Not in your sport? If you use Rogan, they take you right out of the competition because they consider it a mass meeting. They're very strict. 
time until my drive home at about six. And what's the, it's any trace at all? Usually they have. Not only any trace, but any trace of anything that might mask it. So by then, I mean, if you're not set by five, anyway. Any trace. Any trace at all. winter Olympics. I don't know about the summer Olympics. See, this was a New Yorker magazine article about 20, 15, 10 years ago. And it was about the summer Olympics, I think. Okay. And it was about, what was your event? Skeleton. Skeleton? Yeah. Yeah, I get caught. That's the bob shoot thing that's yeah. really fast. Yeah. Some guys died in that recently. They crashed. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Wow. It's a dangerous sport, but they're very strict with the policies. You can't get away with anything. What is it? Skeleton? It's like luge, but face first. Yeah. You've probably seen it. Face first. Wow. Are you serious? Are we in the presence of greatness? No, some of greatness. Not medal. I was on the army already. Were you? Yeah. I was on the army already. Yeah. That's cool. I would do it if I had money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 78. Alright, cool. So you go face first, I'll see you on Thursday. Yeah. Like I said, if you get in a pickle, it's, the sled's nothing more than that. The big slab of metal with two little rails on the bottom. Like, it's a very simple sled. Yep. And there's no brakes or anything on it. It's all just how you shift your weight. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you stop? The end of the track goes uphill. Uh -huh. And it naturally stops you. Hmm, a cosmologist might want to sponsor this one. <laughs> I wanted to come here, and so Hillary and John McCain came here. They gave me an excuse to come up. I was late. John was leaving. Hillary was going to talk. I went into the gym. Then I went over because people were voting down the hill, and I watched them count the ballots, and I saw they didn't show the bottom of the box to the observers. They could have already had ballots in it. The one police officer was so into it over in the corner, counting all his ballots, man feeling like he was really doing a civic duty. But no one was double checking him. He was one person alone counting all the ballots. I fell in love with the place because of the people standing around outside. I prayed in the snow on the triangle. A student came by, brought some hot soup, and we shared it. So this is where I wanted to come, so my buddies started coming here. I think before that, candidates didn't ever used to come to Hanover, did they? We could research this and find out. I might be wrong, but my gut feeling is I had never heard of it. I did want to go. I posted it on the internet, and all of a sudden they started coming here, which is not unlike why we're in Afghanistan, because I wasn't ready in 2000. I said I would like to marry an Afghan woman, maybe. I wanted to look into it. So everybody runs off and... See, I was supposed to work with Bush and have a cell phone, and he didn't have any plan at all, and I wasn't ready with my plan, and so he fell in with some bad people, and the next thing you know, we had our rice stag fire, and the next thing you know, we had all 10 years of war. So uh, I'm a little bit guilty on that. I was supposed to show up in 2000 with my Millennium Manger project. Robin Williams had his movie with a mobile petting zoo in the opening scene, man. Yeah, Robin driving around the animals in this, his movie. He knew about it. And there's a lot of stuff on the record about people knowing what I wanted to do, but I wasn't, but it's gotten a lot better. It's gotten a lot deeper. I understand God a lot better than I did back then. So, um, we'd like to do the movie Olympic Thinkers. You guys want to get involved with it, we could script it up and... The story about how iTunes and the U.S. Congress lowers the U.S. abortion rate below 3%. That's the condition, that the abortion rate goes down if we're going to get permission to have our Olympic Thinker drug testing legally. So our constituency here might like the idea. You know, technically, we should have all eight of these guys be in executive council listening to us. Nobody for president have all eight of them be in executive council. Bill Clinton's got so many kids around. I wonder if our buddy here isn't related to Bill. You look a little like him. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
That's another thing. We get DNA prints on record, like at the post office where they used to put their picture on the wall. If you're elected to a high office, your DNA prints go on the internet so anyone can check and see if... God willing, who hopes? Here's Woodstock Nation, alive and well. Visit dcdelegate.com if you will, please. <laughs> Okay, left section, right section. I'm supposed to go downstairs and ask, huh? Anybody got an extra ticket? Looking for a ticket. I need a miracle. Anybody got an extra ticket? Maybe I should go in here first. Maybe I should go down here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hi. Ouch. <clears throat> Department of Music, William John Summers, Associate Professor. PhD, University of California, Santa Barbara. Expect disruptions to the regularly scheduled music department. Hmm. Music that can stop on a dime. Cross reference North Carolina. Is anybody here? Okay, I'm looking for a ticket. Hi, I'm looking for a ticket for the event tonight. Do you know where I might inquire about one? Um, you can try it going all the way down to the uh, main entrance. Yeah, there are some tables there. Yeah, you can try there. I'm not certain if there are any though. Okay, thank you. You're welcome too with a good attitude like that. <clears throat> Hi. Looking for a ticket. Department of Music. Ann Hopkins, those were the days. <clears throat> I need a miracle. Anybody got an extra ticket? Everybody's got a ticket to walk. Your computer's not on this. Pardon me? Everybody's got a ticket to talk. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. 